guys so i thought that i would just go ahead and do a tour of the kitchen it is not complete how or finish how everything that i want to get done in it but i'll just do a tour i did a clean up video not a clean with me um was it my first year on youtube i don't remember but anyway i wanted to do this too before josiah woke up trying to get my teenager out of the kitchen i should have did bloopers at the end of this because he just was getting stuff and i said clean up your mess so anyway um starting over here is usually guys where you see the halls and this is i tell you i don't what word would i want to say this is we have a love-hate relationship this counter and i knew that because we previously moved from three or was it four different four different places and i knew that my family would drop off stuff here i have a love-hate relationship i had to take everything off and just put it in a basket and i had to sort the basket and put everything up um they love to drop keys here you know they have somewhere to put keys just anything paperwork whatever so i do the hauls um here a lot and so one thing i do want to do is a improvement is of course cock the back of my which like i have the stuff for it but i'm just nervous about doing it and then also i want some black backsplash i think i want the subway towel white towel that's what they had in the model home as well and i wanted everything in the kitchen that the model home had so the dark cabinets the crown of crowning above it and the large longer counter uh, not countertops cabinets at the top because mainly because i was a couponer but i don't even really use my cabinets for food too much maybe those two over there and that's it one day i also would like to get granite but i also want to get my money's worth out of these because they weren't cheap out of the regular or these called quartz um countertops my bar on the other side of the improvement something i would like to do is when we first moved here i had four bar stools they weren't the best of quality people didn't use them a whole lot but i would like for them to use them a little bit more um it's long enough to have maybe five stools so it probably four or five stools and i want to find some really good ones um yeah so here i just have this where i got this from michael's i might have posted this i believe on instagram and I'm running out of the regular paper plates. And I just keep paper plates and cups in here for the boys. And I liked it because it was rustic. Um, I used a 50% off coupon. So it was only like $7, $6 or something like that. Some paper towels, of course. And then these candlestick holders, which I showed in a Dollar Tree haul. And then I think on Instagram. So make sure you follow me over there in My Life Full of Hope and um these were black candlesticks i should have recorded it and all i used was the chalk waverly ivory paint from walmart and used the sandpaper from dollar tree you can use any sandpaper and made them rustic looking they were black they were from home interiors i wasn't ready to get rid of them and then these kind of play off the cabinets but i was looking for the silver ones and if i ever find some silver ones then i may get them or spray paint them I wanted to add some little decor over here in this corner as well to add with the candlesticks. So I just got some flowers from Dollar Tree and put them in my KitchenAid. I lined it with paper towels and um, yeah, because I don't use it a whole lot unless it's the holiday. I do like after I put my backsplash up is to paint, but how I'm going to get that painted, I'm going to have to probably hire somebody to do that um this wax warmer here is just from walmart that i had and i used to keep it in the bathroom and then my curtains i got from home goods i had some gray and white ones down here and i think i needed something more of a solid color i'm going to move them up eventually and maybe move my box wood wreath and it's shadowing over maybe above the stove over there so i'm just short and i already had the rod down low from before and before i only had two panels on the outside 
and yeah, I had the panels on the outside and I didn't have the middle panels and it's just too much right there in the middle. So of course I'm going to move it up and it blocks some of my, it's not really too much of a view because these houses are close together over here. Um, my sink, I actually, like I said, I want it granite and I can't remember if the model home had granite or not. I want to say it did. It did. And so with the granite countertops, you have a undermount sink. And um, usually when you have these type of countertops, you don't have an undermount sink. So that's one thing that I would like to get one day is an un undermount sink. So um, that those things were really expensive. So what I um, wanted to dress this area or something that I want that I really Something that I really wanted was the faucet. So I got the faucet and it has the little um, soap dispenser. I don't use it a whole lot because my family tend to forget, though they need to wash their hands. I think I said this before in the bathroom that it's there and it can be a little pain to fill it up because you can't pour it directly all in and it'll start bubbling out. You have to wait till it just funnels down. So anyway... My mom told me, you see the Grove Collaborative um, little thing. I would see this in people's videos and I will always want one. My mom told me, hope you need to try Mrs. Myers. I already tried the method, you guys know. And I love the method anti-bag and I love um, Mrs. Myers cleaner. So um, she let me use some of her stuff because she signed up for someone. Bitty, I don't remember who it was. And so I tried some of her products, bought some from Target, and I love them. And um, anyway, she wasn't using that. So she gave me this. Um, I had this in the bathroom for a long time, and I decided to bring it in here. My theme in the kitchen is kind of, I want it to be like rustic glam. Um, something different that i never done before. I had a kitchen with apples. I had a kitchen with palm trees. I had a kitchen with the coffee thing where it was brown and teal. The red apples was really cute. Anyway, I wanted something different. So I picked these containers up from Target. When I run out of this soap, I'm gonna get like some clear soap. Let's see, it comes with a, like a little tray. So I just nestled all that in here together. I love at home with Nikki's idea with the dish towels. I got this from Target. I had, not Target, Kirkland's. I had a gift card. It wasn't but like $9, but you can get it from Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, wherever. I also had this little plant for a long time and it's sitting on a little coffee top that you get, like a styrofoam coffee top. I use chalk paint as well to make this rustic and I should have recorded it. And then I have the little trinket tray, which I don't really take my rings off to wash dishes or anything, but I do take my earrings off wherever. So I just put that back there. These little things, I never did this haul, but these came from Michael's from the $1.50 spot. And I love them because they have little scriptures and they're rusty. So I put that there and there. And this little basket came from Walmart. They may still have them, but I had it for a while. Also, moving over here, I got this from Hobby Lobby. I need a news. My mom said that I just used up my stuff and my keys about tore up everything. So, um, my appliances. So, I need a new refrigerator. They worked on it, but I still need a bigger one for the fam. I need a new stove. If you see closely, my numbers are rubbing off, but I have used the crap out of my stove. And then also my boys just about have my, they broke the glass out of here. You can't even really tell till I, till, till I say. They about tore my microwave up. It works, but they about tore that up. And the guy looked at it and he said it's fine. No radiation is coming out or anything like that. So need a new total appliance package and a dishwasher. Yeah, we've been here since December 2010. Also, I, and I, with the model home, these all came with it except the refrigerator not model home with the design center or what i chose with the house as well i picked this up from kirkland's um the pioneer woman i wanted this for a while it's about 19 dollars. this is her cutting board and i purchased one of her nice 
um, knives that came with the set. This is a trinket thing from Dollar Tree. So I just put the salt and pepper there just so everybody will know where it is really quick. My scale back there because I wanted to start weighing my food, but I still don't. And also, in this corner here, um, starting with the clock, I had it for a while from Kirkland's. They still do have it for, I'm not sure on the website, but I think on the website too. Jason had it on his side of the bed and of room, and he just, just got lost. So I wanted to bring it down so I could see it, even though I have a clock right there. So I just wanted to bring it down. And I got this little topiary from Target and I like it a lot and there's another little love one another scripture um, wooden piece and then I have the little I am losing my words this little thing <laughs> from Dollar Tree also I picked this up from Aldi sometimes I turn on the light at night so it'd be a night light but yeah so just in case somebody needs the light um, bless this kitchen came from Hobby Lobby and then I got this from Costco where it holds, it normally holds bread, um, the onions, potatoes if I have potatoes, fruit, bananas, whatever. I wanted to insert this clip here of this serving tier tray that I saw at Walmart, the galvanized. And it comes in this box here. Let's see if I can put it up. And I think it looks so much better. It ties in the kitchen. And I was just going to get it simply for entertainment pur purposes. And it caught my attention because I've been looking at them. But I was like, oh, is that real? Do you, will you really like that? And surprisingly, I really like this. It's really large. I can put potatoes, um, my onions in here, some oranges and my apples. And instead of the other one that I had in my <laughs> My mom, I told her I'd give her the other one if I don't use the other one because I can put bread in or whatever. But it was marked down. It caught my attention because it was $14.97 and it said it was clearance. On the website, I asked you guys on Instagram how much this was originally. Um, I don't remember how much it was originally, but on the website it said $17.88. So the fact that they... I felt like they bamboozled me, but I don't care if they did <laughs> because this is so pretty. And I may go back and get another one if they have some more because I would like to have two of these for entertainment purposes. I did pick up the tray. I will show that in a separate, well, I'll show it now. So you guys, and this was only like $7 and some change. So I probably will show this again in a home decor haul with some few items that I've been picking up but I think this ties in the kitchen so much better um love it love it love it over here is just I picked this up from Tuesday morning I showed on Instagram I'm not sure if I showed in the video or not and I it's a chalkboard and a court board and I need to redo this week and then I picked these little things up from Dollar Tree to put some little um memos up here or whatever but there's another little sign that says love never fails and the only thing i have on here right now is Cottrell senior portrait information that he will have and these were 14 dollars from tuesday morning and then i have the little eat sign that came from hobby lobby here's my kitchen island i showed it again in another video before so you guys if you've seen that video you probably already seen it it came from big lots and um i like it a lot right now it is storing like lunchbox stuff and like aluminum foil saran wrap ziploc bag stuff like that and then in this tray i picked this up from marshall's and then i just have and i have the arrangement which i got from home goods another little block that says when i am afraid i put trust in you and then these little balls from dollar tree this also came from dollar tree the candle from dollar tree the little orb it's a, it was a three pack from aldi and um i just put one there and this one came from it was just a little piece that came from i think home interiors a long time ago no aldi and I just took it apart 
because I used it so many different things and centerpieces and so forth. So I really like this. I can't keep paper towels on here because Saya will mess it up. This is loose because Saya was pulling on it and Mommy had to get him. And I don't have anything in here either because Saya will pull stuff out. So this, I'm going to just do a quick pan. My refrigerator is behind me. Um, I really didn't plan on doing like, look like a black and white theme in here or cream and black, but really it's like a brown. The colors just play like that. So, um, probably may get some pops. I do have a bread box that is teal, but I'm not sure if I don't want to get rid of it, but I don't, let me bring it down. I really wasn't using it, but I'm not ready to get rid of it. Usually, normally, it's a bunch of crap right here. So, I don't want to put too much on the countertops because it's just too much stuff. Excuse me, right here. I, what do I keep right here? I normally keep my dish mat here. That would probably be an ideal place. But I want it somewhere where they make sandwiches and so forth. And I think, you know, the produce works well over there. I try to use how we use the kitchen, which I have my baking cabinet here and baking drawer here. So that's why my kitchen aid is there. I tried over there, but um, space. So I don't know. So anyway, my point of bringing that down was to see if I wanted to make pops of um, green or not in the kitchen. And I, my pantry is right here. So I need to organize that too desperately. So guys, that was the tour of my kitchen. I would like to also paint this wall over here, which probably done before the rest will be painted. And then that old video, I took all that greenery that was down, that was up there, I took that down. I don't know if I ever will put anything back up there as of right now, no. And I had some pictures up there too. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and Maybe it gave you some ideas. Uh, I'm still, my kitchens are work in progress. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.